everybody here as with the Select 6 in Chicago's Autorama. This is just amazing. As you can see behind me, I do love the color green, but this green is something else. Mixed in with the gold, the interior looks flawless, but it's a very special car. George, congratulations Thank on being you. part of the Select Thank 6. You. How does it feel? Feels great. Feels great. It's been a great build. It's been an eight-year build for us. Uh, we're happy to be here, and we appreciate the Select 6 award right now. 1960s Buick Invicta. Correct. Now, this is very special, you were telling me. It's, uh, it's, this, this body style is only specific to this year of 1960. Okay. Um, so there wasn't very many built. And um, what we wanted to do, we wanted to build a car that, uh, we wanted to build a car that would have been a great concept car for Buick. The engineers um, had an idea, lower and longer, but GM didn't want to listen to it, so we figured we produced that car. And, you and therefore the name <laughs> X60, Concept 60. So here you are in the 21st century, right? And you've done, right. you've done exactly right. that, right? But with so much more modern features, right? Striking, beautiful motor. Take me through it, George. We have on this on this on this car here. We have close to 2,000 machine one-off parts. Okay, well, can we step it, inside? Sure. Thank you. It's fully functional. We've kept the original 401 nail head, but we put a Pro Charger on there. So it's the original 401. Original 401 nail head with the Pro Charger. Wow. And, and it just, works. I'm loving the engine compartment, everybody. I mean, the firewall is not just neat and clean. It's absolutely smooth. Mm -hmm. It's matte, I'm guessing. Yes, matte finish. Matte finish, and it just looks really good. But there's a lot of things missing from here, which we'll find out as we explore the car on where you're hiding all the other things <laughs> that usually go under the hood. <laughs> we can't tell you where we hit everything. <laughs> Now, the body the lines. Body, the body, we only white section two inches in the front, nothing in the back. Wow, look at this. It doesn't the moldings get more, are all machine. doesn't get more custom than this. No. does not get There's more not custom. There's not a piece on this car that hasn't been touched and that's been machined. And everybody, you know that I love to look for those small, fine little details. And right there is exactly one example of that. Right. The whole car... You can keep. You got to keep coming back to look at this car because you're just going to find more and more details. Well, that's why you've got such a big crowd around you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the wheels amazing. The wheels. The what white wall is not the tire. That is part of the wheel. Feel it. Touch that. Oh wow. And the reason for that, we wanted to make it look like a 15-inch wheel, still like they had in 1960. The wheels have nine different layers in them. Machine pieces. Nine machine pieces. Wow. And that green is carried through yep. the outside and, and of that And in different ring. shades of green, also in there. Wow. And that. it was engineered when the wheels are turning to cool the brakes. Nice. Nice. And who came up with this design? I mean, obviously you've had help in our building designer, this Our car. designer was Eric Black, uh, was our main designer, and Cal Automotive, Andy Leach, and Jim, Jim Carls was our engineer, did all the CAD drawings. Um, Andy and his crew from Cal Automotive made it happen. Yeah, and they just thought, okay, it's what we're going to do. But yeah. they did a fabulous job at that. You know, the interior is just as good, if not better, than right. the exterior. And it's timeless again. It's, it's material from 1960. Wow. We had, the, we had the leather pearlized with gold. Wow. We've got the, um, the center armrest, the floating center armrest. I love that. The center rest full comes back, and there's two cup holders and USB ports in there. Wow. We're going to have a look better from the driver's yes, side. Now, for George, sure. you were telling me that this car is not only an amazing show car, you know, top quality being here as the Select 6, which is a great honor, biggest in the country, but it's functional. It's very functional. Down to the fact that you've got cup holders. Yeah, and we, we drove this car in bare metal, almost 2,000 miles on it in bare metal before we broke it apart for the paint. So it wow. works. Everything works. Oh, I have no doubt. <laughs> I have no doubt because you know what? As nice as this is, it's not the nice way. Let me see if I can actually explain myself here. It's not the type where it says, you know, just look and don't touch. This right. wants to be driven. This wants to be driven. This and we're gonna, and we will driven. drive it once we're done touring the car. Good for you. Yes. Good for it you. It was made to be driven. Love the body lines. 1960s Buick Invicta. Been done absolutely brilliantly. The rear bumper, in 1960, the bumper was split. We made a full bumper. And I'll show you something really neat. I was never a big fan of the split bumpers. I've seen them, but... You fill the gas here. Okay. This one's screwed. You fill the gas there. The gas tank breathes out of the other tail light. And to pop the trunk, you pull the license plate down and the trunk pops open. 
Okay. <laughs> Did you get a look at the suspension down here? Independent rear suspension. Wow. All engineered and custom made. It looks so, um, Fake. less. <laughs> <laughs> Fake is a word, right? yeah. But it looks so, um, like, just clean, not much happening. Right. And there's so much, much going on. And there is so much going on. That's not what you usually see underneath a car, let alone a brilliant car with that motor. And it's been supercharged. Yes. Okay. And here's the thing, look, our, our goal was always through this. Timeless, functional, and perfect simple. It's nice. the hardest thing to do is to perfect simple. You know, that's I love that, and that's my goal as well. When I do a project, you'll all see it, is to keep it looking absolutely amazing, to stop people from staring, you know, to stop it, but right. also to have it be simple. Correct. And that is a very tough job. And that's what we did through this whole build. Anytime the builder would call and ask me about a certain idea, and I would always tell them those three things. Yeah. And Long. you've done that because when I see this, it, it is exactly that. Hey, everybody, just look at this angle here. Look at that there. Wow. Just to look at the moldings, the wow. fit on the moldings. Everything fits perfect. Wow. All right, let's let's get sure. in. I want to see it under the drivetrain again. Okay. As you can see, everyone, there is. It's been covered so well. Wow. So you guys covered it and this painted exactly the same paint right, as this. Just with a matte finish. And what I didn't notice is you do have gold specks in this. Right, it's got gold pearl. Okay. And this, this lighting doesn't give it any justice with the gold. And what is the name of the paint? The it's color? a custom, custom color that uh, we created. Okay, of course. <laughs> Even the carpeting was uh, custom made Wow. For this car, if you notice the sun, rear sun visor is very rare option. Rear sun visors, rear I've sun never visors. seen that. And that rear light, extremely rare option. Wow. The floating armrest between the rear seats. I'm loving the seats, they are so low. And um, I've been noticing these a lot more now, and they've just got, got a nice, sleek look to them. Right. The Very way clean. they just sit. Right. Very and this clean. This material's from the 60s. I love that pattern. Very vintage. Yes. And in Victor Customs, it's actually lit up. Yes, that was not stock on the car. We machined all this in. Wow. Just a little touch. Wow, a big touch. I'm loving the dash. Okay, so is the dash. The, period, the, correct. the speedometer is original. That's the original speedometer. Wow. Well done on that for Thank keeping you. the classic. Yes. To that look. And love the steering wheel here. The steering wheel also is, uh, we took a little bit off the steering wheel. I think about an inch we cut off the steering wheel. The radio. Wow. And of course, it's got all new technology inside of it. And you've got a gauge on the shifter? We have, there's a clock and a tack. The clock is uh, on, the, on the center console, and then uh, the tachometer is in the top. In 1960, they had the clock up there, and of course right. they didn't have the tack. So we utilized two, two of the clocks, made one of them a tachometer, and the other one we kept as a clock. Wow. And it's pretty cool that it's functional, being All on functional. the shifter as well. Right. And it's, it's different, and that's why these cars are here at this level because it's the small things like that that make it stand out it's just it's brilliant it's absolutely brilliant i just noticed these look at the trim here i love that it's fabric here right. and then you've the got the chrome the right. yeah and all the diamonds are completely in perfect look order. at that look at that i mean to see these cars up close wow Wow, absolutely brilliant. Let me see if I can pull this for you. And there's the cup holders. There's the cup holders for when you're cruising <laughs> and the USB ports. And the USB ports. This is really <laughs> a drivable, a functionable show car, everybody. Like, on, you were not kidding. You were not kidding. Wow. And how long did you say it took you again? Eight years. Eight years. Eight year build, yes. This is brilliant.
Thank you. And this is not the first show you've been in? We were in Pomona uh, at the Grand Nationals. We won the Schleinecker Award there last month. So um, I'm from Chicagoland area, so we figured we'd come here to Chicago okay. and display it. Of course. Well, yeah. I'm glad you did. Thank and you. where is it off to after this? It's going to go back to California um, to Delmar, I believe, is our next show next month. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is brilliant. And then they've also got in California, as I just learned recently, East versus the West Coast. That's starting, I believe, next year, I, I think, next isn't it? Year. I and it'll be the first show? I believe it will be. I just heard that also. So. Okay. Well, look into that. Yeah. We'll be there for um, that. <laughs> yeah. And I'll look into that because I'm very interested. You should go. <laughs> wow. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you. George, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.